Um, it's weird. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I am T with Jackie P. I film videos every week. I film beauty, DIYs, food, reviews, and a bunch of other random things. So if you like videos like that, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe, and we will be friends. So I do know that I review a lot of beauty products on my channel. My channel is mainly beauty products, but today, we're reviewing food and that's actually how my channel started. If you guys are new here, again, I used to do food subscription box service like reviews and tea reviews and other things like that. And then I started to do makeup and I have a lot of interest. So I felt like today would be a food video. For my intro, my really awesome friend Eliza made that intro and she told me that for making that intro, I should make more food videos. So Eliza, this is for you. I will link her cute little page down below so you guys can see the cool little pin that she made and a bunch of other cool things. She's an amazing artist and yeah. Today's video is a food video and we are going to be testing weird healthy snacks. I don't really know what I'm gonna title this video. And technically the things that I have in here aren't really healthy, but I've been going to a lot of uh, health food stores and if you guys don't know this about me, I am vegetarian or I guess I would say pescatarian because I do eat sushi and like fish and everything like that. So I picked up a few items that I thought would be fun to try out on camera because they are a little weird. So I thought it would be fun to see my reaction to the food. If you guys want to see what kind of weird snacks that I picked up at the health food store, keep watching and we will just get into the video. I want to try this out. This is the Primal Strips Meatless Vegan Jerky. So it's made from shiitake mushrooms. It's hot and spicy flavor. This is not beef jerky. It's like shiitake jerky. And I'm actually really terrified to try this. Um, I hate the smell of Slim Jims when you open them and I'm afraid that this, this is what it's going to smell like. It looks like a piece of meat, kind of a strip of meat. Now I will premise this by saying just because this stuff is like vegan or like dairy free or whatever does not make it healthy. Uh, a lot of this is like junk food in general so just to put this out here, if you are trying to buy like gluten free snacks and dairy free snacks and vegan snacks, just because it has that word on it does not mean it's healthy whatsoever. They do have to change certain processes so it's probably just as unhealthy but I do miss eating beef jerky, so we're gonna try this. You can find these at Whole Foods. I found this at this weird natural grocers that was here. So, ugh, I'm so scared. It doesn't smell the best. It looks so disgusting. Oh my God, this looks so gross. It literally looks like those fruit leathers. Oh my god, okay. I don't know why I swallowed that. Okay. Okay. So. Oh. <laughs> it has a beef jerky taste. To it and flavor there's just something about the texture that I cannot get over like it's not chewy like beef jerky like I like having to rip it with my teeth and it being chewy and everything it's just like mushed in there I don't know why I keep eating it it's just like fibers mushed together like a figgy thing. Oh, I don't. Ugh. On a scale of 10, I would literally give this a three only because it does taste like beef jerky-ish. It has that like teriyaki beef jerky flavor to it, but texture wise, not the same. Not what I was looking for whatsoever. It would be an appropriate time to try this out. So I am a big lover of kombucha. I use the brand, or I use the brand. I drink the brand Kavita the most only because 
I have tried other brands and I do not really like when it has, I don't even know the term for it, The I will call it the mother because that's what they have it in um, apple cider vinegar, but kind of like the stuff that ferments the tea at the bottom of it, the Scooby, whatever, I don't know what it is, but some kombuchas have it, a layer of it in the bottom and it's a little slimy and I've gotten it in my mouth before and it's just not a fun feeling. Me being a texture person, no. So this brand really doesn't have that issue for me or at least I haven't had that at all drinking this brand. And I noticed they had a Roots beer one and I don't really drink a lot of soda, but I love root beer. So if you know me, you know I love root beer and I'm excited to try kombucha flavored root beer. So. It smells kind of like fake root beer, like a root beer candy mixed with vinegar. If you guys don't know what kombucha is, it's a fermented tea drink and it does have a very zippy, sour taste, almost as if you're drinking carbonated vinegar. So if you don't like that, you probably won't like kombucha. Okay, it's not bad, but it doesn't taste like the root beer that I want it to taste like, but I taste the root beer flavor in it and it's a little too sweet for me. So, probably wouldn't buy this one again. Next product we have, this brand called Farmhouse Culture. Farmhouse Culture is a brand that makes raw sauerkraut and they have random flavors, I shouldn't say random, they have different flavors of sauerkraut that you can put on your salads or just eat a spoonful and it promotes good gut health and everything like that. Probiotics are good for a flat belly and keeping your immunity good in check, yes. I saw these at the store and they make chips and this is so weird, they're probiotic chips. So I have literally never heard of another brand making chips with probiotics in it. It's probably a gimmick. I don't really know how well they stabilize the probiotics to stay fresh and alive in the chip but regardless i wanted to try these i'm excited and a little scared on what these smell like oh yeah these smell like sauerkraut <laughs> if you guys don't know what sauerkraut is too it's fermented cabbage so here we go i got the smallest chip great looks like a tortilla chip The flavor, I like the smoked jalapeno flavor, but there's definitely a cabbagey, like Brussels sprouty flavor to the chips, which is obviously expected because it is a kraut crisp. I'd probably give this a six out of 10, only because I do like the smoked jalapeno flavor. My mouth is kind of burning, so it's really good. I do like that it's in a chip form but they do have a weird smell and a weird taste besides the jalapenos that some people might not like. Last but not least is a Rice Krispie. So <clears throat> I got this Rice Krispie from Whole Foods. It is Rice Delights Crisp and Chewy Rice Treat Lotus Foods brand. They're vegan and gluten free and it's in the flavor Matcha Mint. I don't really know if I'm gonna like the flavor of matcha mint. I do really like matcha, which is green tea. Uh, mint, I do like mint, but I don't know how that's gonna go together in a Rice crispy. but we'll see. Ugh. That smells very grassy. This is what it looks like. It looks like it fell in the dirt. <laughs> so it looks like it has some brown crispies. Let's see. Organic whole grain heirloom brown, red, and black rice. So that's why it's multicolored in there and it has the sprinklings of matcha in there. The smell of it is not the best smelling thing I've smelled. It doesn't smell like a delicious Rice Krispie dessert, but we'll take a bite. The mint is really overpowering. So much so that it's almost not enjoyable. Like if they would have made this chocolate mint, it would be really good. But you can barely taste the matcha with that mint. They have cut mint leaves in there and they have 
natural mint flavoring and I think they poured too much of that in there because it's almost like eating a thin mint without the chocolate. So that intense minty flavor, but it needs the chocolate to balance it out. There's something missing. I do like that it has the pool of like how gooey Rice Krispie Treats are and the crunch of it. It didn't compromise on that. The flavor is a little weird to me. They had other ones. They had some coconut one and then a citrus one that did not sound good to me whatsoever. This one would be really good. Maybe dipped in some chocolate. So if you buy them, maybe for like a fondue party or something, then it would be good. But by itself, they're just missing something on there. So that is all that I have for this video. I'm pretty upset that I didn't really find a winner in here. I really thought that I picked out some good snacks and I really thought I was gonna love at least the Rice Krispie Treat or the chips, but I really didn't like love anything to where I would purchase it again. So that's really upsetting. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video of me eating stuff. I hope that at least it was funny and I really hope that you guys have a good Easter weekend or a good long weekend, spring break, whatever you guys are doing. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! And I'm really, I didn't even bring a napkin. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? There's this string here. Ow.